The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full accounting of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master has taken the position of steward away from me, I'm not strong enough to dig and I'm ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do. When I am removed from the stewardship, that they may welcome me into their homes, he called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have mentioned before, I love the letter to the Galatians and I are to the Philippians, and I very much recommend that you read it because uh, St. Paul says, Be imitators of me, and uh, he, he, he is the model. And uh, we have in the Catholic Church the communion of saints. There are models, people we admire, people we can imitate, people we hold up to, to, uh, to, to, to inspire us. So uh, I think that's a beautiful uh, reminder that we're so blessed to have all these wonderful communion of saints in our church. Secondly, today's part uh, of the reading tells us that our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to keep that in mind, because with, the, with all the turmoil in life here, and all the ups and downs in life, and politics and everything, we can get too concerned with all of that and not keep our focus on God and heaven. And St. Paul is telling the people, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the gospel we have of the unjust steward, and Jesus praises him because he is enterprising. And the message of it is this, Jesus is not telling us to be unjust or to be crooked in our dealings. What he's telling us is that everything we have is God's gift to us, and we need to be prudent and use our gifts in a creative way to bring others to God. That's what, that's the message of the parable. We need to be prudent and creative in using our earthly goods that God has given us for God's honor and glory and for building his kingdom. We need to be um, Prudent, prudent, that's the word he uses. So that's, that's the message of today's gospel. We need to be prudent, remembering that what we have is God's gift to us. What we do with them is our gift to God. So we need to be prudent in using what we have to build God's kingdom here on earth. Amen? Amen. Amen.